What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Some commentary for you. You know, everybody loved the SFL Championship game breakdown I did, so I wanted to come back and get you guys another one. I actually wrote this play down while I was watching the game because it's a simple play, but there's so many little details that are different than Madden that I think when I show them to you guys, you're going to appreciate what this game has to offer. But as always, we'll just watch it at speed before we break it down. So like I said, simple little 10-yard gain, nothing real spectacular, obviously not the big home run play that you would traditionally think would garner a breakdown. But we go back and we take a look at some things here. There's a couple important things with all pro football. Number one is the pace of the game. At speed, the game has a realistic pace. And number two, the way the animations transition and how smooth those transitions are. So as this play starts, I want you guys to focus on the offensive line and defensive line. And I want you to note that they make contact with each other, and the offensive line pushes the defense back. And not only that, but they hold their blocks. Now, the running back is actually faster than his lead blocker. He gets him out of a position because that person isn't there to block, that he's involved in a double hit tackle that actually turns into a gang tackle. And gang tackles to me right now aren't something that's really meaningly existing in Madden. It's the impression of a gang tackle, but it's not this type of gang tackle. So this play actually was replayed twice, so there's another angle here we can look at. And again, pay attention to this line. The halfback just went through. No one's spinning around. No one's trying to grab at him. It's everyone has a man on a man, and he's running through the lane. Now, we notice number 16, bottom right-hand side of the screen, Keep an eye on him as he goes out to continue to get a block on number 21. But again, like we saw at the play at speed, the running back actually goes past his blocker. So now 25 and 29 are in a position to do a consecutive hit tackle. And as you can see, they do a really good job at standing him up and stopping his momentum. Now, number 28, that's the safety on the far side of the play. He's going to come in and just do this really nice little shoulder dip to kind of finish off the play. And if you've ever played football or watched football, this is what coaches want to see a safety do. Come in and finish a play. Make sure that your weight, your momentum is going in to stop the ball carrier and end the play. And that's a really important thing, to have two players stand up a halfback and then to have another player come in, hit the pile, and knock the running back down. That's something you're going to see in just about every football game. Yet in Madden, we don't see it with that same conviction, that same meeting, where you feel like, okay, momentum mattered. The impact mattered. And to me, that's a big part of the reason this game, even on these little simple plays, just does things right. So I'd love to know your guys' impressions on this. I appreciate you taking time to check it out. And you know that I will be back in the week with more commentary.